welcome to the Lakes Region Humane Society. My name is Megan Williams and I'm the Managing Director. And I'm Deb Watkins, Assistant Director. And I'm going to start off today with, um, it's going to be August, or it is August, and uh, it's going to be hotter days in the summer, so we suggest that you plan ahead and leave your pet at home because it's on those hot days rather than risk them leaving them in the car. Also, um, when you're walking your animal, make sure that you have uh, a leash because there are leash laws and um, that is very important because you could cause a lot of problems without your dog on a leash. It's not very safe. And also ask your vet for uh, monthly flea and tick preventatives and heart heartworm pills. Okay. I'm going to tell you a little bit about our upcoming events. We hope that you will save the date for. All of the events can be found on our website, which is L is in Lakes, R is in Region, H is in Humane, S is in Society, dot net, N-E-T. So you can go right to the webpage, learn more about these events. Feel free to call us. We can take our SVPs and credit card payments over the phone at 603-539-1077. Uh, we have our, well, it's going to be a brunch for paws, and that's going to take place at the Province Lake Golf Club. Um, on Sunday, August 11th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Admission is $40 for adults and $20 for children 12 or under. It's a gourmet buffet. There's creme brulee French toast, there's eggs benedict, there, there's carved ham. I mean, it's really, really nice, a lovely setting, so we hope you'll save the date for that. Also, our uh, annual Play for the Pets golf tournament will take place at the Kingswood Golf Club on Friday, September 15th at the Kingswood Golf Club, which I already said. Uh, <laughs> it's 125 per person. Um, you don't have to have a full team to register. It's a scramble, best ball uh, style tournament, and uh, shotguns start at 8.30. Um, your entry free fee includes a Bloody Mary, breakfast, lunch, snacks, goodie bags, and prizes. So it's a, it's a really fun tournament. And it's all going to finish with a helicopter golf ball drop, which will come to the first hole by the Kingswood Golf Club at about 1.45 in the afternoon. Um, so those of you who have purchased helicopter golf ball drop tickets at $10 a piece can actually watch your golf balls fall and see whose ball gets in the hole first. Because whoever ball, whoever, whose ever ball gets in the hole first wins $1,000. And that prize money was donated by Gary Shukoin Construction Incorporation, so we thank them. They do that every year for us. It really helps make the helicopter golf ball drop a huge success. It's a nice cherry on the top of our golf tournament Sunday. Um, and we, anybody can come out to watch the ball drop, not just the players. And you don't have to be there to win. So it's $10 for a helicopter golf ball ticket for a chance to win a thousand and you can buy as many helicopter golf ball trip tickets as you'd like so you can do that here in person at LRHS online or through one of our board members um, let's see is there anything I'm forgetting oh you're going to talk about pets in the afterlife yes that's an exciting thing we did last year that we're going to do again this year yeah Rob, Rob Gutro will be here on Sunday September 15th from 11 to 1 uh, followed by a book signing. He was here last year and it's called Pets in the Afterlife and he's a medium and a presenter and he's also done some paranormal investigating. So uh, don't don't forget to sign up for that. We had a really good showing last year mm -hmm. and we're hoping to get more this year. So come on down. Uh, so next is Beth with some pets. I'd like to introduce myself first before this beautiful girl gets her, her limelight. Uh, my name is Beth and I work at the Lakes Region Humane Society in Ossaby, New Hampshire and I'm an animal care tech for the dogs and the cats and I love my job and thanks for tuning in. I'd like to introduce Loretta. She's one of our, she's a senior beagle, uh, beagle mix and she is very adorable. Um, she's not a big fan of other dogs, so we're having a hard time finding her a home. Um, and she does have an allergy to beef and chicken, so she does have special food. Um, but the great thing about her is that she's a special dog, but she really has got the best personality. Um, she's a dream to walk on a leash. She's really just got a really great personality, very easygoing. Um, wants to be with her people, um, 
<laughs> she just wants to hang out and not looking for a super, super active lifestyle, but somebody could give her um, a great home and kind of be spoiled a little bit and um, give her some time in her senior year. So if you have any questions or want to hang out with her and visit with her, take her for a walk maybe, come on, ask for Loretta. Copito means little snowflake in Spanish. Why a Spanish name? Because this adorable, deaf three-year-old traveled all the way from Puerto Rico to find his special place in the world. After adopting him out and having him return twice, we learned that once comfortable in a home, he tends to guard his resources. Resources being toys, treats, food. Uh, due to this, we're seeking a home without kids or with other, without other dogs or cats. He's not good with cats and he's only okay with some dogs. Um, Copito was left to fend for himself while in Puerto Rico, which means to him his resources equal survival. Uh, normally, Copito is mellow, loves attention, and is extremely sweet despite what he has been through. He comes neutered, current on vaccinations and testing, and is microchipped. We hope you'll consider giving Copito his special home. Hey folks, I'd like to reintroduce a beautiful girl. Uh, her name is Willow and she, the last um, month when we were recording and showing the new cats, um, she was so very shy she did not want to participate and she has come out of her shell. She still will be probably a little bit, uh, a little bit shy throughout her life, but she has definitely come around a little bit more since um, the last filming. So I absolutely wanted to uh, reintroduce Willow um, and you'll be able to see her and not just um, hear her name with not much of a picture of this beautiful cat. Um, so Willow is a, a big, um, big, beautiful, long-haired orange cat. Um, her owner passed away, so she's absolutely here, no fault of her own. Um, she does have um, a situation where she has an irritated eye, some chronic conjunctivitis that might get worse throughout her life. It might get better, but it will always be there. Um, she's been doing great with us um, as far as being able to handle her and giving some ointment when she first came. She wasn't terribly horrible about it, but um, she's okay when we don't do it. And she's been really in good health uh, lately. So she's about nine years old. So she is a senior cat. Um, she really would probably be the happiest with no other animals and just be the absolute princess of the house. She absolutely drinks up aff affection and loves to be combed, loves to be petted. So probably a fairly quiet house with plenty of room where she can just find her sunny spot and drink in the love of, of her new family. So please come on by and ask to see Miss Willow. Um, she always loves to get brushed, so if you ever have time, come on by and grab a brush. She would love the attention. Folks, I'd like to give you an update on Strike and Blackie. Um, they are still here at the shelter to be adopted, but we've had a, a super nice person come and pay for their adoption. So that would mean um, they are 100% sponsored. So with an approved application and the right match, there's no fee for them to be adopted. It's already been taken care of. So that's great news for them, and we hope, we hope it helps them find their forever home. Hi folks, uh, forgive me for not looking at the camera, but I am um, excited to be able to uh, show you Groucho and sh this way we can have her face you guys um, right into the camera. So um, Groucho is a senior cat. Um, she has uh, hyperthyroidism and it's, she does have uh, medication that she gets and she has um, really, she really is a friendly cat. Uh, so we're looking for a nice soft place for her to land. Um, we'll probably know other animals, but if someone has, um, you know, a quiet home where she can kind of do her thing, turns out she is very friendly. 
Um, she will jump on your back if you're bent over and picking something up and she'll want to climb on your shoulder. Um, so very affectionate. Um, she has actually um, done very well here. She's maintained her weight um, and really is a social, <laughs> a social butterfly. <laughs> um, so if you're interested in Groucho, um, and another super great thing is that somebody has, somebody has sponsored her, which means her adoption has been taken care of. Um, which is uh, a, a great incentive for somebody that's not sure if they're ready to take on this cat. Um, that fee is taken care of uh, for, the, for the adoption. So, um, as you can tell, she's not camera shy. <laughs> so, she is, a, is definitely um, affectionate Aww. and is interested in being adopted. So, come on by and ask to see Groucho. I'd like to introduce a new cat to, to the Lakes Region Humane Society in Ossipi. This is Luna. She's about a year old. Um, this is, Luna is a female. She's up to date on all vaccines and is microchipped and is healthy as healthy can be. She loves, uh, loves other cats. Um, gets along pretty well considering she's uh, the youngest in the room and uh, is looking for a forever home. So how can you resist those yellow eyes and that beautiful face? So come on by and ask to see Luna. I'd like to reintroduce uh, a nice girl, uh, Melody. She, she is, is up for adoption here at the Lakes Region Humane Society. And I wanted to talk about her because she was released originally as a barn cat to our, our barn. Um, and ended up being brought back here. Um, it, uh, we were very surprised. Um, I, we, we recognized her. Um, it turns out that, my gosh, she, um, when we released her, she was not excited about people and did not want to be touched, let alone uh, petted and loved on. And turns out you can pet her. Some, but you have to kind of um, let get her, let her get used to you a little bit. But um, you can see her ear has a notch, so that's what made us think that she was the same cat that we released, had released previous. So um, it's a rare case that a barn cat is actually willing to be um, touched and can kind of come around um, and appreciate affection and be willing to <laughs> willing to be to be petted and loved on. So. Um, she uh, probably would n not want to go back outside. I think she'd uh, be happy to be inside. Um, her, uh, her buddy Oliver is still here. He's a little more outgoing um, and will greet people uh, a little bit more than she does. But my gosh, she is super, super happy to be petted. And uh, so it's definitely worth mentioning she is still here. Um, if you have a kind of an open mind that she might, uh, might not climb up and into bed with you at night or she might not greet you at the door, but you never know with a little love what might happen. So come on by and ask to see Melody. I would lo love to reintroduce Mr. Benny. Um, cannot figure out why he is still here. He is really a nice cat. Um, Benny is a boy. Um, he's up to date on all vaccines. He's microchipped. He's a pretty chilled out cat. He's in a room called uh, Taj Meow, and he, there were other cats, quite a few cats in, in his room. So they've gotten adopted, and he is still um, he's still here at the shelter. So um, if you're looking for a guy that's pretty laid back, um, he, he lived with a cat before he came here. Um, he does okay with the other cats. Um, Luna, he and Luna hang out together, and although she plays more, he just kind of uh, just kind of hangs out. But he is a really nice guy. Um, might sit in your lap a little bit. Might lay in the sun a little bit. Might like uh, hang on the couch a little bit. But my gosh, he is really a nice a nice boy. So so come on by and ask to see Benny.